Elise, well, today's What's Poppin'. We need to start off with our box office numbers. Third place belongs to the record-shattering horror movie It. With an estimated 9.6 million bucks, it has brought home a staggering total. You ready for this? $304 million, wow, Fendi. that's Huge crazy. bucks. It is. This weekend's runner-up is The Mountain Between Us. Two strangers stand um, after a plane crash. They must be forced to, to, together for connection and survive an extreme elements of the remote snow-covered mountain. Uh, the film has opened with $10 million. Yeah, I, I, I've got no desire to see that, my friend. The, the Warner Brothers flick Blade Runner 2049 was number one this weekend at the box office. The film depicts a young Blade Runner's discovery of a long-buried secret that leads him to track down former Blade Runner Rick Deckard. Played by Harrison Ford, Blade Runner 2014, 2049 I should say, opened with $31 million in ticket sales over the weekend. Wow. But the movie sequel fell equal below expectations. It is. What's up? Jason Aldean is uh, paying tribute to those killed or injured in last weekend's uh, shooting massacre in Las Vegas. The country music star returned to the city on Sunday along with his wife to visit the victims at the hospital. Last night, Aldean opened Saturday Night Live with a tribute to the victims and sang a rendition of Tom Petty's hit song. I want, you, I want it back down. Well, film executive Harvey Weinstein has been fired from a company he co-founded amid sexual harassment accusations. The news follows a report from the New York Times that detailed allegations of sexual misconduct against Weinstein that spanned decades. Now, he was, he, he was let down on Sunday. The board of directors at the Weinstein Company announced he's firing. They said the decision was made in light of new information which I'm sure it will completely unfold. That's right. A memorial of Anton Yelchin uh, has been unveiled in Hollywood. Family, friends, and the late actors' co-stars joined in the dedication of a uh, salute to Yelchin at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Yelchin, only 27, died in a freak accident in 2016. He was best known for his roles in Star Trek and Alpha Dog. Universal has set a date for its Fast and Furious spin-off. The still untitled film will hit screens July 26, 2019, starring Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham in their roles from the Fast and Furious franchise. I've never been a big fan of that. Uh -oh. No, it's not my thing. What's coming up next? Uh, Allison Davis is up next with a delay.